What's up, boys and girls? Welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. Okay, BFF's uh, returning guest, Harry Josie, with Josh together. So, welcome. Yo, here. <laughs> Thank you for coming. He, he, Harry just DM me. He's like, I can't get into your gate either. You <laughs> left him hanging at the gate. No, nah, yeah. it, was, it was confusing. I didn't realize that they live in the old hype house. Yeah, we do. No, I knew that. I, I, but I don't know the code. I, I do know we've struggled with the code before the first time we actually met. But let's get right into the stuff today. <laughs> um, so this was a big, a big deal. When, what, what, when did Nikita Dragon release her song called Dick? What was it, a couple days ago? <laughs> yeah, like a, a week ago maybe, Max. Yeah, so yeah. I found out about it, and she's going off, like, basically naming names. She hates, right, she hates... I'm going to need a little help on this. She hates uh, Daisy Keach's new boyfriend who used to, according to her, be her boyfriend. Yes, correct? yes. Mm -hmm. That's correct. But Michael does, Michael Yerger. Or does something Michael like Yerger confirm that they were so, dating? So they were kind of like fake dating. Like she hired him to be her boyfriend in a video, but then she claims that they actually started dating and like hooking up. He does not agree. Uh, he's like a little iffy about Harry, it. Harry, you're with Nikita. What's the deal? What's, what's really going on? And, and you're in the video as well. Um, yeah, I was the biggest thing that I was annoyed about is the fact that she didn't let me flex my legs because my legs look so like noodles in that. And I told her because we spoke on the phone. So um, you're, were you in this just to, because the obvious thing right off the bat, like someone told me, they're like, Harry's in it. Did Harry and Nikita fuck or hook up? And I'm like, <laughs> I think Harry just his game is just get people talking about him. But maybe you did. So what like how did that come true. about? How well do you know Nikita? Is Nikita telling the truth about Daisy? Keach's boyfriend, who I saw her in the comments be like, you don't like give head as good as I do. They were fighting in the comments, Correct. yeah. So you must yeah. know everything if you're in the video and friends with her. What's going on? Well, the biggest thing, well, I was actually meant to have Nikita on my podcast last night to talk about all this stuff because I didn't want to like go out and say something that she didn't want like being public knowledge and stuff like that. But I think uh, I was just going to wait till she's ready to address Yeah, because we stuff, asked but. too and she's like, she, we've had her on, and I think she yeah. said she wasn't doing She's media. taking a media break. Yeah. That's bullshit, by the way. And I like Nikita, but you can't drop yeah. a song called Dick. And then be like, oh. And then just not go on any interviews. <laughs> like, that's the whole point of dropping a song. And she loves the press. Dick. Like, she loves talking shit and stuff. So yeah, so what's weird. going on? Anyway, I cut you off, so go ahead. Yeah, no, no. Um, I just pretty much asked her if she wanted to come talk about it. Because the first thing that I was concerned about when she posted that was, like, first off, her safety. Like, there's a... A lot of big names in that and i'm sure that there's people that she's hooked up with that wouldn't want that type of stuff to be out there but i i also said like i'm like massive i've always said in any podcast like i'm hugely attracted to people's energy it doesn't really matter who they are so with nikita like if you you guys know her, you meet her like especially like offline she's very like powerful she's very driven uh she's very attractive and very successful in many senses so i don't know like i've always been attracted to her so you hooked uh, up with her I don't see the thing is I don't want to get I don't want to upset her by saying if I say too much or too little but once she's ready to talk about it I'm more than happy to talk about it but I uh, well you're yeah. in the video yeah well it was, that was a big night we, we were both pretty drunk and uh, yeah <laughs> Josh you're sitting next to him can we get an answer out of this guy uh, what? Uh, I don't know man like I feel like you kind of just got to say it you traveled <laughs> all this way you get stuck at a gate like yeah, you're gonna true. do all that and not just like out it well, right here well no because I feel like it doesn't really matter because like for me like it's just like hooking up with another girl because I honestly see like trans women as as women I didn't see it as a uh, as a big deal um, but I just she dropped that and I told actually I remember did you know what, that you were going to be in it no I was annoyed because I'm like I'm pretty sure we took a selfie I'm pretty sure there was a selfie the morning after like why didn't you get me when I didn't look like a fucking bean okay mm. so you hooked up with her I mean, look I at the picture. Between look the lines. Lines. Yeah. I'm fine with it. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I yeah. <laughs> he literally just said that. Like, yeah. they're pretty much hooked up. Yeah, so I'm and just that, like, that. Does We're it matter, though? Like, up. is it a big deal? No, like, no, no. For me, you need to know. For, for me personally, like, I don't see it as a big deal. And I feel like I'm very blessed with my friends and my family that, like, everyone's open-minded and just loves people for who they are instead of, like, freaking... I, I don't see it as a big deal. Like, I told I told all my friends the next day, I was like, yeah, shit was crazy. Uh... I, I yeah. don't think it's necessarily a big deal either. I yeah. But people, it depends on how, how people look. Like, listen, I used back yeah. in the day, I 
And you're like a beautiful person. So beautiful people like who's the guy that I always say, uh, fuck, um, Lenny Kravitz. He's like the most beautiful dude ever. Okay. Mm -hmm. He just when you get so beautiful, you just view everybody's beautiful. It doesn't matter, guy, girl, whatever. Yeah. So maybe you're one of these beautiful people, Harry. It's very open minded and liberating. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I just feel like it's 2021. Like, I just, who really cares? Like, I just love people for who they are. And, like, if someone's going to be a good person or, like, come at you with, like, insane energy, then, like, it's just silly to, to just judge someone from their past life or whatever. I, I don't really care. Like, I'm full of love. I feel like it's it's a good year to just uh, just be open and just come at the world with just open arms and just, yeah. It's a great know. answer. I feel like that's the whole point of yeah. Nikita's song, too. But I will say... <laughs> And maybe she knew this about you. You seem very friendly with her. And, and like yeah. that answer is, is a great like answer. I'm surprised she didn't at least give you a heads up. Like a Yo, heads I'm up. Yeah. Are you guys like not good? Well, are you guys not cool at all? Like no. Nah, so this, this happened a long time ago. Like this was like, I think it was like last year or some shit. Yeah. Um, and I told her like, Hey, if this gets out, like I'm like more than happy to talk about it. Like I'm, uh, like I really don't care. Um, but she's like, no, nah, I want to keep it private. So that's why I've never spoken about it in podcasts or anything like that. Um, but I, I called her, I called her like the day after because I was just, again, like I was worried about her safety because you never know, like there could have been someone in her past that maybe, you know, like have gang ties or something and doesn't want that side of them coming out. And I said to her, I was like, look, like I just hope you're safe. I hope you're uh, just looking after yourself and, if you need to talk or if you just need to hug or if you just need a friend, like I'm here. Like that was pretty much the essence of the conversation. And then she's, we, we spoke about the podcast and she told me the reasons why she posted the video and all this stuff. And I'm like, okay, well, why don't we talk about it when you're ready? Uh, so that it's like, not like, I don't know. There's just so much mystery right now. Um, and I feel like she's taking a bit of a break from social media because there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes for her. You Still doesn't answer to me why she wanted to give you the heads up and you're like you're handling it awesome, but I still would have thought like, right. hey, this video's coming, you're in it. You would have been cool yeah. with it, obviously, by your answer, but rather than like see it. It also, to me, what you're saying kind of verifies anybody. It gives a lot more credibility if you're like, is, she t is all these people real? To me, the way you're answering it, I would be inclined to say, yes, everything yeah. she's saying oh, is yeah. truthful. Because it happened a year yeah. ago and she kept it quiet. I, I don't know. Like, I just doubled down as well. Like, I saw the video. I started getting all these comments and, like, tagged in it. So I went on TikTok and I put, and I duetted one of her videos. And I was like, when you make the music video, but you won't get a text back. Because I was like, the best thing to do is, like, just be open and honest. And I like, this hasn't been something that I'm like, afraid to talk about or like hide from like i i honestly think that she's possibly one of the most attractive people uh that you'll meet especially like you know in person and she's an icon she's a pioneer for what she's doing like she's gone uh yeah i just think that it's just I, I i'm proud of her and i think she's great um and i'm glad to i guess be a part of a little bit of part of history <laughs> yeah so i mean this is like this is the it. best way someone could take like getting put in a music video and being exposed well, I don't think it, I don't think it was exposed because I was like, I t I the day after like I was like, yo, like, let me know. And she's like, nah, this would be way better. She said it would be more beneficial for you than it is for me. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, so yeah. Then she, but then she went and used it. Yeah. Then she went and used yeah, it in I her video. I was I didn't even know she took that photo. I was I'm pretty sure there was a selfie. But I'm like, we could have. I could have flexed. I could have wore better undies. Like those undies are like raggedy. <laughs> you know, you have a night out. You don't want to wear your good undies. So I was like. Yeah, I was I a little bit annoyed. I don't know that actually. Wouldn't yeah. you want to wear your good undies? On <laughs> yeah, because yeah, you, you never to. know. You might like. If I'm not shit wearing, <laughs> yeah, if I'm not wearing my A plus like really? boxer briefs, that just means I know I'm. Well, not you never, you never know how big the night might get. I so. guess, but, but you if it's a big them. night, wouldn't I want my greatest undies on? I right. I feel like I up. save them for like good occasions, like when I need my lucky undies. I I don't know. I don't, that's weird, man. I guess I'm different. Yeah, if, I, if it's like a Sunday and I'm chilling at my house, I'm not even doing nothing, then I'd put on like probably my shit right, pairs. That's true. Yeah, you, you raise a good point. Yeah. <laughs> I, I will say, and, and just going back, like exposed isn't even the right word. I, like, yeah, it's more, hey, heads up, this is coming out because you guys get along. You don't care. You've handled it great. But still, yeah. even if I'm friends, I'd like to know if I'm about to be dropped in a video. That's just yeah. me. But I will say everything you're saying makes me, for anybody, me even like, if you're on either side of the fence, is everything she's saying truthful or not? I would say it's 100% truthful based on what you're saying right now. Because what? 
She's yeah. friends I, with you. I don't know about everyone, but well, I. Uh, why would you why make would she, some why would she up? Lie about other people. Like, right. if one's true, they're probably all true. Correct. That's how I would interpret. Because what is? She already has enough. I don't want to say. She already has enough truthfulness to get her message mm. across without. Yeah. Because if you start making shit up, you're really gonna hurt the message you're trying to send. And she also doesn't do it a lot. Like Correct. she doesn't name drop any any time. This is the first yeah. time she's done it. She really hates this Michael Yerger guy. Fucking oh, hates well, him. Well, he fucked well, her over. Nah, I so I I checked in with him as well because I messaged him. What are you like, just hey, United Nations? <laughs> well, I, I might. Well, I just wanted. I, I was like, look, like, he's this playing is, all the cards. You know? Well, I was he like, really this is, is a pretty stressful situation because he's in a relationship, and I just wanted to DM him. I'm, I'm like, hey, like I know what's going on. Uh, if you need a friend, like I'm here. Oh, if you just need a vent. Well, what are you gonna have sure. them both there and turn into fucking rough and no, rowdy? No, Doctor Phil. I just I don't know. This shit. I don't know. Like I just get worried. Like I don't want someone to like <laughs> self harm or do something like freak out about this stuff. So I message him. Hey, How big's your house, Harry? What do you have? Separate wings to keep them separated? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't say come over, but yeah, he you said he was all good. You just said that's and, like when we did the our. Our fight week, and we had like oh, yeah, Jake yeah. Paul and the other guy come over, and like they almost fought. That's you're yep. fighting all these warring parties over to your house, <laughs> trying to be the media. He has an underground fight club, actually. <laughs> yeah. That's just really what it is. No, he's, I, just, I, he's just luring <laughs> people in to then bet money on them fighting. <laughs> I know that I know they're all good now, though, because Nikita did reach out to everyone and, and just make sure check in with everyone. So I, I think everything's okay. Well, I don't. I doubt she reached out to Michael Yerger to see. Yeah, I doubt he wanted her to reach out. I feel or like Tiger. Not cool no, no, at she, all. she did. She did, and she reached out to Daisy Keach. Uh, I'm just not sure if they replied. That's all. Well, you think? She just yeah. What? Us. What do you think, Tiger? Like, do you think he doesn't strike me as someone who would be overly cool with this accusation? Uh, yeah. Oh, he, yeah, he, he was tweeting. Like he was going pretty crazy on Twitter about it. What? I didn't but, say. What was he saying? Me either. He was just saying that like, clout kills. Like uh, it was. Oh yeah, it's here. Some music people video. Video. Oh. And Michael, you're all right. Clout. Yeah. He, I wonder. He was going pretty angry on Twitter. He also has a girlfriend, so not that it matters. It actually doesn't matter. This is yeah. what you're saying. You're handling it one way, and other people would handle it a different way. Well, and and really, today's society, like <laughs> if you're. Everybody should handle it. Your who fucking cares if you're attracted to somebody you hook yeah. up? Who fucking yeah. cares? I think that well, was Nikita's I, whole point I to just the think song. Nothing really matters. Like uh, you're gonna look at people's comments online and stuff. Like that. It's like who cares? Like my friends loved it. Like they're excited. Like my family. That everyone's like open minded. It's not like a big deal. Those I just are feel like shitty if boxers. To, sorry to cut you off. You, I just see them on the next page. <laughs> they're loose. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Yeah, my box. They, they suck, huh? They are loose. They're terrible boxers. Right here. Yeah, they were, they, were, they were bad. I still have them though. Um, but yeah, I just feel like as a society, like it's good to just be open-minded and move forward. Like if we keep being closed-minded and pretending like people hooking up with whoever is like scary or like bad news and you're just going to keep going backwards. So I'm like, whatever, I don't give a fuck. Like I went straight on TikTok and then posted that video, so. All right, I mean, it's a great take and I agree with you <laughs> yeah, no. a bazillion percent, like to each their own. If you're attracted yeah. or want to hook up, hook up and who fucking cares? Um, yeah. And I don't like, and again, we're assuming it's true. It's like the people she's saying were clearly wanted to hook up with her and were interested. And in I hate, regardless what it is, people will do one thing behind closed doors and then won't back it up. And the lie that, about yeah, it. Yeah. That, that's not that just kind of makes you a bitch. Yeah. Not just with anything, with yeah. anything to say one yeah. thing and do another. Um, all right. Well, that was, that was great. Like we would cancel the show and have, Numbies. I'm an. I'm on the. <laughs> that by the way, John, new word. Numbies. I say it all the time. Oh, what's it mean? Just doing numbers. Numbies. Uh, oh, numbies. Like yeah. a little little abbreviation for numbers. Yeah, yeah. Doing numbies. Silvana. You commented that on the TikTok. I did. Yeah. I did. Oh. Numbies. Now I don't like it as much. Is that a dancing TikTok? Yeah, I did dance TikTok. Yeah, so it went really well. Why are you bringing all these cutesy terms from your relationship to our podcast? Numbies. <laughs> well, I'm, I've always Numbies. been. Listen, I said it. I'm sure I don't know if we'll get into it. But there was. I've been doing dance TikToks before you were born. They just know TikTok. I, I used to, everything Bieber did. I used to copy. Like everything. Right. No, I, I've seen the we video. We watched that Bieber yeah. video on BFFs yeah. before. Yeah. Uh, Swimply, the Airbnb for pools. Download the app. Get 25% off your first dip. Use promo code BFFs. Swimply is the Airbnb for pools. Book thousands of private pools starting at 15 bucks per hour. Basic backyard pools all the way to resort-style kingdoms. Ton of amenities like projector TVs, hot tubs, ping pong tables, darts, Wi-Fi, water slides, and more. Creative locations for date nights, photo, video shoots, or podcasts. Bathrooms, yup, they're provided. Swimply, 
the Air Swimply, the Airbnb for pools. Download the app, get 25% off your first dip. Use promo code BFFS. Um, influencer of the next celebrities. Nikita went on a rant about influencer of the next celebrities, how people just have to come to terms with the new day and age. Well, yeah. I mean, is that. Uh, I feel like that's not that hard of a. That's, yeah, really, people right? were like angry with her and saying that it wasn't true when it, I think it's completely true, especially if you look at the Met Gala, Addison Ryan Dixie. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. And even when you're out, like I've seen Harry out, obviously Josh, the crowds that go. I mean, there's Addison Ray's as hot as it possibly could be. So no doubt. I don't know that that is a hot take, though, at all. That's pretty much. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think that's that hot of a take. Addison Ray is probably pretty She's much an definitely a celebrity. Now. Yeah. Great segue, Josh, because she dropped out of the iHeart Radio Festival because she didn't feel she was right performance level. She wants to for her fans. I also can see this being a thing because the like we're having TikTok stars, social media get into singing. A lot of people want to do it. Um, they haven't grown up doing it. And then all of a sudden you're so famous and you're going to be like headlining mm-hmm. singing. After Bill or before Billie Eilish, who can actually sing her heart out. Crazy. I, I wouldn't want to do that. Crazy. Um, and going around, Little Huddy had his first album released. Have, I haven't listened to it. Mm-mm, I haven't anybody. listened. Anybody? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm okay. proud of him. Yeah. You guys are friends, right? You're close? Yeah, I love that kid. Can we yeah, get him did. on this? I, he's like... Yeah. Well, we, for a trying BFF, to get him on he's top really? the list. Yeah. I wonder why he doesn't want to come on. We, I try yeah, I wonder why too. he dresses because I think he dresses like an asshole, but that's not that personal of a comment. <laughs> right. It's I not like you're, hurting, who he, he, you're hurting who he is. Yeah, yeah it's not a personal comment. I, I, I feel like it's just that, that rock, that punk rock. Like MGK, Like I don't like how he dresses, but... Yeah, it's all that same style. Do, is, does he have a good sense of humor? Uh, Lil Huddy? Yeah. Yeah, of course. So yeah, I feel like if you have a fuck. sense of humor, you'll do well on this show. Right, yeah. that's all you need. You just need to yeah. be able to laugh at him. Maybe yourself. he won't come on I, I just Josh. feel like he, he probably doesn't want to like walk into like a, a trap or something where like... Everyone thinks that, yeah, but, but it's never a trap. trap. There's, yeah. We got like... We I actually know. come out... Look at me. I'm just, I'm just, this is my third time on here. Yeah, I know. Exactly. You love it. League leader. Um... Charlie and Huddy were together at the release party and looking coupley. I don't know about that. Like, that just seems like a. I think they're just best. She, she, did, at get this him, point. she did get him a cake that said, like, sorry for breaking your heart, but at least you have something to write about now. Yep. Yeah. Something like that. But that, that's like cutesy. That's like people who get along after they broke up. All right. I've DM'd this girl twice trying to get her on. <laughs> I DM'd her too. Did she respond? She oh. responded and then I said, hey, you want to come on BFS? Then she didn't respond. Olivia Ponton. Damn. And Kai. Now, why wouldn't Olivia... She's in New York, so she could come here. Right. She's... Oh, no, she's, she's here now. Oh, is she? Yeah. And she could come here. She's so very, right. like, front forward. Her brand is publicity, it seems like. Right? I don't oh. know. I think she's trying to take, like, the model route, and I, she doesn't want to... I watch a lot of her videos, and it's just all about modeling. Really? Yeah. Isn't that's why she, that's why she doesn't moved, she do her relationship that's why she moved thing in, to New York to be a model isn't her relationship in public though and if I mean, we're yeah. saying the new stars are influencer model influence whatever publicity is public like this True. guy this guy Harry is the king <laughs> of staying in the news and publicity yeah. he's the male version Tana's like the female they're just oh, fucking everything <laughs> there I actually got a little clout farmers I got in a tiff yeah. with Tana why? You did? Yeah. Over the DMs? What happened? We're, yeah. we're trying to get her on this fucking show. Oh, and, and she keeps fucking We've been banging. trying so hard, and every time something comes so, out. I'll, COVID I'll t- and this and really? that. Yeah. I, 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 feel so, like she, I feel like she'd be so horny for the cloud off this. She's been on once. Exactly. So Sunday, I heard she was in New York, so I texted her. I'm like, you in New York? Question mark. Yes. But I texted her at September 12th, 11.52 a.m. She gets back to me the next day at 6.43. Yes. Explanation point. Can you come to the office for a BFFs? I texted that. That's Monday. She gets back to me the next day, Tuesday at 2.14. Down. Can we do a late time? I said, how late? This is Tuesday. She gets back to me six hours later. What days? And I had had enough. I said, you take. (laughs) It's it's hard to even like coordinate like filming TikToks with her. So I couldn't imagine like trying to organize it to come on a podcast. Yeah. So I just said, you take too long to respond. And she said, oh, I'm sorry, dad. And that was the end of it. Oh, Oh, wow. (laughs) I did say I'm kind of old. But yeah. How are you going to schedule something when you respond 
I know. once every 24 hours. Does she hours. have like a management? Someone needs to do it she for does. her. So we did schedule her. She we scheduled her and then she thought she had COVID, so she canceled. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was... But was on Instagram like two hours later posting on her story. And then Miami, she was there and she left. That one sucked too. She was supposed yes. to go on to Miami. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm actually surprised that she's she hasn't come on like all she's those times. Been, yeah, she's been on once, it's but in person... I don't know. I also am very anal about people not responding. When I have your text, because I see when people text, everyone's on their yeah. phone. Like, I see you holding your phone. I know you <laughs> see my text. So fucking do something. The is on her phone, like, too. It's one thing, email, DMs, I don't see. If you text me, I fucking see it. And I res- if I don't respond, I am intentionally not responding in your face. Yeah. Other than that, I respond. So anyways, yeah. Olivia, yeah, I-, I thought, Josh, you may be able to get her. I thought so too. I guess I guess we aren't that close. So, fuck. I did try to yep. get Kai too. No response. Not not if even. She's Kai? not gonna come on. We'll get the other side. So do do you think then they're like seriously beef and they don't want to like blow it up? Probably. Yeah. They just. Don't <gasps> make it I don't know because Olivia yeah. posted more TikToks like talking about. Yeah, that's her. what I'm saying. And Kai answered, didn't she? She talked. Kai responded. Yeah, Olivia posted a video of her talking about she was uh, DMing a boy or sending him pictures, and she she didn't like his response or something. And then Kai responded. The fuck? We yeah. got to get one of them on. Got to. The top comment. What was on the Kai's video response? Was, what did she say? Yeah. What did she say? We can. Watch I don't it. know. Yeah. No, right. Josh. Yeah, have wait. To what? I thought it was to Josh's video. DM. No, to Olivia's video. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. Never had a milk dud. I had a, outside of a movie theater. No, that's true. That's true. <laughs> like, who has milk duds at their house? Just lying around. <laughs> Strange. Um. Yeah. So one of them, one of them need to come on. I know they're. I know they're seeing these clips. Like I know they're seeing us talking about it. And Have that is somebody who's like you're talking about it. You're making it public. That I don't know. Right. Yeah. Would you would think show. they would want to come on? Yeah. Free JoJo Siwa's music. Did that Siwa? Siwa. 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 Are you friends with her too, Harry? Uh, I met her once. She's the sweetest little soul. She's so lovely. She's the nicest person. JoJo tweeted that Nickelodeon is forbidding her from using any new music she created for a movie with Nickelodeon in her upcoming tour. JoJo feels as if she isn't being treated as a human, but as a brand. Well, no shit. Yeah. <laughs> she's like a, a She's a walking brand. Product. Yeah, that yeah, would be sure. like somebody creating shit here yeah. and being like, why can't Damn. I use it when I leave or something like that. I feel like musicians always have these kind of like mini disputes with their labels and shit like that. Yeah, it's because they always like sign away their rights. Yeah, it's like a Taylor Swift, Scooter Braun moment right there. Yep. yep. Um, logo girl blowing up on TikTok. Girl named Emily star trend where she redesigns logos on TikTok has gone mega viral with over 35 million views on three videos. No shit. These are funny. Okay, let's see. Yeah. I graduated college with a degree in design and I redesigned some popular logos I think we can all agree are ugly. So here we go. Um, These are my redesigns. The first logo I chose to work on was Starbucks. I don't like anything about it. I hate this green color. I don't like this figure. I don't even know who that is. Maybe the president or something. The font is also just tacky and outdated. So I redesigned it with more of a happier feel. I wanted to maintain the integrity of the stars in the original logo because I truly think that's the only good thing about it. And then I chose this nice Nice. contemporary font that pulls it all together. Second contestant was H&R Block. I just hate the block. So now I, I put it in a circle instead. The last victim was Fair. Apple. I hate this logo. There's no symmetry going on. There's not even any words indicating which brand this is. You just have to guess. So I don't like that. This is my redesign of Apple's logo. I thought they needed a type that was fun. So she says she's a comedian. Yeah, yeah, she's, yeah joking. she's she's being funny. She's yeah. trying to be funny. But now brands are actually using those like fake Got logos it. she made as their profile pictures. She's like mega viral. She has like eight hundred thousand. Yeah, like followers. TikTok used her used her logo, and it was like just like the worst looking clock you've ever seen, and then just the words TikTok on it. It's pretty like putting it as their logo. It's pretty unique. Like I thought it was gonna be serious. I mean, she's attractive and 
that was kind of like understated humor. I asked her to remake a BFF's logo. No response. How many followers does she have now? Are we even, is, is anyone even listening to this podcast <laughs> anymore? No response? Nobody that even likes like yeah, like, What the fuck's going on? <laughs> she only has like 10,000 followers on Instagram and she didn't respond. No, because I saw her video when it had like 10,000 likes and she only had like 60,000 followers on TikTok. Now she has like 800,000. I can't grow on TikTok for the fucking life of me. Um, <laughs> all right, your boy Gruen was with uh, Connor. So yep. McGregor dinner with the champ. When did that happen? It wasn't a it wasn't a dinner with them. They were, I believe they That's were just misleading both because Gruen did say in his caption dinner with the champ. Yeah. Um. I, maybe they had dinner. I don't know. I don't know the full details. I thought that they were at like a dinner event like they were both at this dinner event or like a dinner party or something like that so yeah i guess they were at the same same part did he get party. any dirt they apparently up. apparently connor was like going through stretches with them for his hand and shit like <laughs> telling him what to do so he was apparently a super nice guy i wanted to get any dirt on the mgk fight <sighs> i don't think i don't think he asked him about that michael like was michael's a bit like a pretty big fan of uh connor mcgregor like that's the only fighter he watches so he told that to connor and then connor was like yeah, it's because I'm the only fucking fighter worth watching. How did they get hooked but, up? Um, like I said, I think it was literally they both were going to this uh, birthday dinner Got last uh, last night and then or two nights ago, and then they uh, just ended up running into each other there. Okay. He did say McGregor's like an investor in his fund too, because some guy yeah. was like, "Are you trying yeah. to pitch McGregor?" And he's like, "Well, he actually already invested." So. Got it. Of fun. course he did. I had a bunch of people come up to me about the, the Willie Mammoth, by the way, the Woolly <clears throat> Mammoth. I don't even remember oh, yeah. people from all different like walks of life just coming up to me like that Woolly Mammoth stuff's hilarious. Um, yeah, it's pretty funny. All right, we got some <laughs> videos to react to. Jackson Mahomes isn't playing games this season. We remade this. Yeah, um, I know. It was awesome. <laughs> And I guess he was in the comment section, like going at it with Bree. And then yeah, he was trying Bree. to go at it at Bree. And then, yeah. like, I went and looked at his profile, Bree. He still follows me. So he's still following BFF's pod. That guy's, Yeah, that he guy's unfollowed me and then commented that and then blocked me. We got, I, we, he <laughs> has I was like, what the fuck? I was just a cameo in it. I wasn't uh, You didn't even know what you were doing. I no. just walked in. I'm like, I'm, I actually came back to the office to do that. Like, I forget. It's like, oh, I got to make my Jackson Mahomes my annual, like, duet with Jackson Mahomes. So. Right, right. Let's show it. It's not football season without a Dave Jackson Mahomes. No, it's only week two. Out. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that. And then Bro, we, he's so he's so entitled. That guy, like, come on. I mean, you're just gonna pour water, water on, on some fan, and then just walks away like that with no yeah, expression. Yeah, I know. It's like, dude, your brother's. Pat Mahomes, like, of course you're going to get yelled at. Like, well, of course people are going to beef you. And you're oh, doing TikTok dances on the sideline before the game starts. Do we have our version of it? Yep. So here's the remake. Oh, is that kid? Yeah. <laughs> Bree, you deserve so an Oscar. Awesome. <laughs> well played, the Thank little you. nodding. You Thank didn't even you. know I what you were doing. I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, Tommy oh, Fury well. and Jake Paul's feud heats back up. Date Molly, don't take Molly. <laughs> Date Molly, don't take. Where, now, is he? Was he on one of these reality shows originally? Yeah, Love yeah, Island. Yeah, he was on Love Island. Love Island. Oh, I didn't know that. The UK version. For Fury? Yeah, obviously he was on Love Island. With, that's how he met his uh, girl Molly. So, and how he, well known is like out? Is he huge? I, I think he's think a big so, deal in the yeah. UK for sure, but not here. Yeah, Mo Molly's huge over there as well. Like, I think they're the only ever, only couple ever from reality TV to make it. Like, they're, they've been together for years, huh? Because I was so we were at the last Jake Paul fight, and I knew Tommy Fury much more as. Fury's half brother, not as a reality star, and like somebody right. trying to get into boxing. I really didn't know the reality side of it. I don't want to see this fight, by the way. Tommy Fury cannot fight. I was at the last fight. He mm -hmm. cannot fight. That's what I'm saying. I didn't want to see it either. It'd just be like a downgrade almost from the last one. Big time. Big time. Um, Josh and Bryce's security. I wonder what this is. My Nobody's friends acting as security for Bryce Hall and Josh Nobody's Richards. Gonna They're gonna know. Oh, yeah, I remember these girls. <laughs> oh, 
How would they know? How would they know? I can't. I can't. I just, I can't. Oh my God. <laughs> Our security taking them out. The <laughs> That's so awesome. I asked, no, uh, it, we very evidently did know that they weren't our security. Very but clearly. We did fuck with the disguises and the mustaches. I actually saw somebody at a party, a kid who said he helped start any energy. Huh. Well, that's, that's strange. Yeah. I don't, I forget. That's, I mean, just how he came up and introduced. Um, <laughs> the videos that aren't on here because be. people thought I was going to get in trouble for them being on here is the. What are you talking about? What? What are you talking about? The TikTok dance. That I did. So we can show that because everyone's like wants to see it. I'm getting like that new trend thing. Sylvana and I did it. I made my boyfriend do it too. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, I get everyone goes crazy. Like I'm getting held at gunpoint for doing this shit. But I've always done dances. But it does get a little bit as I talked a lot, a lot about it on the Dave Portnoy show. Like. And I even think you, Brie, at times, you're somebody in the public spotlight. You sometimes get bothered by comments, no? Mm -hmm, I do. So for somebody who's brand new to it, she can occasionally let comments get the best of her. Right. It, it's a very delicate dance to be like, well, we're putting this out. I gave, I'm like, if we do this, there's going to be a lot of comments. People are going to talk about it. And you just got to know that. So that was the deal we made before we did this dance. Mm. It didn't make the sheet, though. It one, didn't make the sheet, one, so Kareem's one, clear and free. But here it is. Pink, 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 girls, girls, girls. Glitter, glitter, glitter. Squirrels, squirrels, squirrels. Together forever. We're Linda and Heather. Best friends. One take. Yeah, I can tell. One I take. can tell, actually. That's crazy you say that. <laughs> um, one motherfucking wow. take. <laughs> Video's doing numbies. Like I posted yesterday, is over 3 uh, million. It is Fucking doing numbies. 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 That's like 4 Dude, that, million that just views. Gives, I, don't, I don't actually like that word. Usually you come to the pods and sometimes you got some good, like I like chicken, you know? Like that's a little cute. You got, you got a little like thing. Numbies. numbies. Numbies just reminds me of like, I don't know. I feel like a pirate when I say numbies. Like numbies. I feel like I don't have, like I feel like I should have a hook on my hand. Like I, have, I don't have a hand. People <laughs> up in my grill, listen, I, one of my, I have like 3,000 names over the last 20 years, but one of them's Davey Page Views just like, Get, get people paying attention. It's the Harry Josie playbook. Just as long as people are watching, listen, whatever. We actually went on a, a bunch of them. We did that. We did some bark it like a dog and <laughs> whatever. Yeah, let's watch the dog one. <laughs> no, the smiling one is the funniest one to me. Really? The filter we'll one. watch the dog one. Yeah, this one's funny we'll too. One. Okay. <laughs> bark, bark, bark. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, take two seconds. It didn't take a lot. I thought the smiling one was okay. I thought it was funny, but I knew because I was, knew that your face behind I, it was so not smiling. You know, I knew she was up to something. It's like, <laughs> why are you smiling when I'm not smiling? So it's like, well, clearly you're like doing something with TikTok. Meanwhile, I got a hundred grand on the Cardinals who are losing, and I got this like big <laughs> smile on my face. It's like, all right, whatever. Um, yeah. What does Harry think? He didn't. He didn't. Call well, Harry would do anything. Uh, I'm just more upset that I don't have a girlfriend to do that stuff with. That's all. Girlfriend, I said this. Yeah, girlfriend couple videos have a huge advantage over single mm. person. People seem oh, to like people it. love the couple yeah. videos. Yeah, yeah, huge. Um, you're you're you basically tan is like your isn't? Don't you make TikToks with her a lot? Yeah, we, we, yeah, we did a fair bit, but uh, she's been traveling a, a fair bit right now. So I don't know where she's. At. I think she's in Vegas. Okay, she's crazy. She's you got a new. Uh, tell me about the podcast, which. It sounds like you got a ton of people lined up. Tap in with Harry Josie starting uh, this past May. You've had Riley Reed, Monty Lopez, yeah. which is Addison's dad, Chantel Jeffrey is Lana. Um, Harry's Jeffrey star episode releases tomorrow um, and yes. will be out by the time we had him on. So how do you like doing the podcast? Uh, honestly, it's just, it's just a lot of fun. I just I feel like getting to talk to people and like hang out with your friends and it gets, uh, gives you a chance to have like deeper conversations with people. Uh, that you usually wouldn't like yeah i, I don't know I, re I really enjoy it i think it's probably probably the most rewarding thing i've done and what about your only fans oh uh, cranks i think i'm the highest male owner in the world <laughs> really? I, how much, I, I, you, I how much you make what the fuck how much do you make a month off of only fans a, a lot yeah can uh, you say the number nah, i can't say because my team will get angry with me, but well, what you about, can you it. give us you like, just let it out it's, it's crank, if, it's if we guess it if we all get one guess will you say yes if one of us hits it well, higher no, or lower? I, I How about, get, give us like a hotter cold. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Je Jeffrey said on my podcast that he's going to launch his OnlyFans to teach everyone how to suck dick. And then he did show me a photo of that. And I was like, look, 
Just keep that to yourself. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, wait, this is how long have you been doing OnlyFans for? Uh, a couple months now. Yeah. Not too long, though, like three. So, or four like, months. we're talking seven figures a month? No, 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 not that. About high six figures. Okay, yeah. so we got close. Pretty crazy. crazy. Are you getting like fully naked on oh, OnlyFans? Yeah, is there dick and shit? Nah, nah, not yet. Um, it's pretty. Like the thing is, not yet. He's saving that one. Yeah, well, it's who coming. knows? Like, it's I, don't know, I might have a sex tape coming. I've recorded a couple, but who knows what, what's going to happen in the future? My career could <laughs> actually just completely tank. You and know, you become these, a porn star. These reality TV stars suck. So my life could really just fucking go downhill real quick and I might have to try and figure out a way back and that might be the only way. But you've kind of, um, I feel like you've you've morphed out of that, I, I, which is yeah. a compliment to you. Like I don't- Thank you. you. You've done something that's very difficult to do, which is gone from reality. Everybody needs their break, but I, yeah. I would say now you're more on the influencer side of things and that used to be probably not the nicest thing to say to somebody, but now it, I think now that's it's better. a compliment. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, I think it's a step in the right direction for sure, so I, I appreciate that, but- yeah, I just think that reality TV stars have a short lifespan. Like we're usually like hot for a month and then we're kind of like dwindled off. So I think that's why I try to collab with as many people as possible and uh, try and do other things. So how long till dick comes? Uh, well, question. I just I just recorded a couple more shows. So do you, probably like six, or seven months. Do you? Yeah. Uh, Only fans. Yeah. Are you like talking to people? That's how it like works, right? Yeah, yeah. I go live all the time. It's mainly just like, the thing is, it's mainly just people just want to uh, just want to talk to you as a friend and like vent about that day and stuff like that. I don't believe Sometimes that. people want to see your feet, who, shit like that. So I don't know. That they're paying. The, Sometimes they want to vent and see your feet. Yeah, yeah. maybe some girls would. I had the this dude asked if if I could put one Yeezy on and one black sock and then put them up and take a photo of my face and I was like, bro, that's a little bit strange. What do what percentage <laughs> of your OnlyFans you guys do versus it? girls? Nah, because I, I was like, that's gonna get on the internet. And I'm gonna look weird. But, but just, just butt ass naked with oh, a and black naked. sock on? Is that no, what you're no, saying? no. I, I think they wanted me with pants on, but I was like, nah, I'm cool. It's a bit bizarre. What yeah. what percentage of your followers are guys versus girls on OnlyFans? It's it's weird. It's literally like even split, uh, which is kind of crazy. Um, just because, yeah, I, my, have, my followers on Instagram is like 70% uh, females. Then on TikTok is like 80%. But then on OnlyFans is like a 50-50, which is kind of crazy. I I don't know. I would not if have expected I was, that. Yeah, it's bizarre. Yeah, I don't know if I was gonna bet on that. What I would have bet, it doesn't surprise me. I may have even thought you would have had more guys. What? Yeah, yeah. sneaky I guys. Have, I, I'm, I feel like I would have easily thought it would have been seventy five percent women or more. The reason I think that is, I don't see girls being the core demo of OnlyFans. Yeah, now that, and they're not really ones that like spend money or anything like that, which is which is completely fine. But it's just. I guess it's just my demographic and that's what's come across and that's who I talk to. So it's sick. So you and Tana have your own yeah. line of sex toys too? Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, the plugs today. Yeah. What, what makes uh, these like better than any other sex toy? Nah, they're pretty, like they're pretty fucking cool. I used uh, one on a girl and first time she's ever squirted, which is pretty sick. We have a couple um, Brag. Unre <laughs> unreleased ones. I don't know if, how vulgar you guys get on your podcast. Well, say whatever you want. Say whatever. So that maybe uh, is probably good for your OnlyFans. Yeah, no, nah, it's pretty good. It's just the first one we released is like uh, this little rabbit thing. Black rabbit. Yeah, black rabbit. It's sick. Sick name. Um, I, I can send you guys some if you want. Yeah, my, uh, I, mean, I, don't well, know. I got a million of them like, anyways. But what what is the, is your name on it? Yeah, yeah, my no, signature, see, I everything. Do that. I don't want Maybe a bit of my like, scent. I don't know. I don't with want, like, with like, Harry's scent, name on it? Like, they just throw my, a little Harry scent in no, there? No, no, maybe it's just nice. on the box. Is it on the actual no. thing? I'm out. Yeah, 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 yeah on the yeah, actual no, toy. I'm out, Harry. Like, He's got yeah, a picture I can't, I can't do that. your I can't face, like, so I'm not using, using it. it. And then just being like thinking of Harry because I actually see the name halfway through. That's weird, man. Yeah, no, I'm out. I'm out. That's super weird. You just have to cover his name. You're supporting your friends. No, uh, no, think no, about no. it. That's a little too much support for me. And then it's like it, it, it will probably bump into each other again. It's like, oh, like yeah. you actually oh, have met. We've been weird. like together, so it's yeah. very odd. No, I'm I'm not doing that. I'm out. Well, wait, wait till <laughs> the, the the dildos come out. The, the suction dildos are fucking crazy. What are they like molded to your? Oh cock yeah, so is that like, like the twist type shit? No, no, no. I actually I told him I was like, yo, I'm not comfortable with that just yet. <laughs> Korea's doing okay for for the minute, but then they found one that was like, well, they made one that was pretty pretty spot on. And it's it sticks to a wall like fucking so, magic. So that's sick. that's the Harry Josie line in the sand. We just found it. It's like ah, oh, I, I'll do the OnlyFans. I'm doing the, the sex toys. Uh, I'm in I'm in Nikita Dragon's video. I'm totally cool with that. Uh, the <laughs> stick on dildo. I'm out. I won't that, mold that's my too own far. deck. Yeah. Well, I but I, it was more my team's decision, not me. So I, I you yeah. know what? I'm, I'm down to do anything. Just for the record, I never believe that. 
Whenever and when anybody ever anyone says ever says it's the team's team, team decision, the team like, likes for you, bro. Exactly. You sign the checks for the team. Um, sure. Harry Josie talks to pussy. Uh, you all. <laughs> oh. talk Is that my to tweet? Pussy while you eat it or not? Nah. Yeah. I tweeted that last night. Damn, you guys are quick. We're fast. We're fast. I don't think that's that unusual. Well, I yeah, I just was I was curious because I asked my friends and they just like, oh, not really. And I was like, well, sometimes you have to like have a conversation. <laughs> you're talking With directly it to it. You mean? I think that's yeah. Like when you yeah, eat that's what it out. And you you guess you don't ever do that. Like a dual, like at the same. Like what are you warming? It I don't up think like it's head? that. No, nah, because like sometimes you need like because some. A little well, I've had my talk. nose broken so many times, so it's like hard to breathe through my nose. Why? So sometimes I like, come back for why do you, air. Why do you and have then your nose? Like, so it's more like a time killer. Yeah, and then like talk to her a little bit, like let her relax, let her figure her shit out, and then just go back in. For like the for kill. fights, Harry. Like why does your <laughs> nose keep getting broken? Um, I played a lot of rugby when I was growing up, and um, I was right. in the shit team, so people just punched each other in the head, and then <laughs> I got a broken nose a fair few times, and then a knee reconstruction. Got it. At seventeen, which was fun. Um, I mean, th uh, this is again somebody wrote with the direction Harry is headed with his brand. Would he ever do porn? Uh, I think Harry, you do anything if the price is right, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, if it's gonna <laughs> if it's gonna keep the wheels moving, then sure. Um, <laughs> yeah. Fair. Every guy with this hair has been run through. I don't know what the hell that means. That's just oh Harry, the bleached hair. Harry's hair. If he wants to take off the hat. Oh yeah, yeah. It's bleached hair. Yeah, it's 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 lavender now, but we're we're going back to brown because it's just it's just so much upkeep. Have you ever dyed your hair? It's the worst decision nah, you ever did. Nah. Uh, I once had like like highlights in my hair. Or something That's like fine, that. but like yeah. the whole thing bleaches. It grows back so quick. I was sitting there, it literally looked horrible. So that's why I'm wearing a cap all the time. Done that. And then we got this picture of you having a huge glow up. Yeah, you were like yeah, that's uh, kind of crazy. A weird looking dude, little, little toga party action. Yeah, I, that was bad, bro. That was a weird time in my life. <laughs> and then that was, I was that was at university. I love wow. how you guys call it university. And then uh, the fake Taylor Holder beef, which is clearly fake, but you guys are thinking yeah. about fighting. But I know you guys don't like each. I mean, I know you guys like each other. Yeah, no, we were on set filming a show together, and we were in our little trailer, and we were going back and forth on Twitter, and then one of my fan pages. Um, she made this fight thing and I was like, oh, I'm going to tweet it. And then I literally everywhere I go, people ask me if I'm fighting Taylor. <laughs> I'm like, I'm 230 pounds. I think he's like 175. I think it just is a big difference. And, and he probably beat the fuck out of me, to be honest. And you guys like each other, so. And I, I love that yeah. kid. Yeah. Uh, cheating or not cheating, do we agree with Harry and Taylor's take? So we I shall see what that. this is. Oh. Uh, uh. I haven't seen this video, actually. Me either. Me neither. <laughs> cheating or not cheating, staring at another girl's ass, watching porn, liking other girls' bikini posts, having a girl best friend, keeping other girls' nudes, flirting with other girls, hang out with another girl one-on-one, -on -one, constantly texting other girls, calls other girls pretty, is friends with someone who likes him, goes to a party without saying anything to you, having a Fortnite duo partner being a girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like that last one that's thrown in. Who, uh, who's asking all these questions? It's a trend. I got no idea. It's oh, just like a idea. trend. Like yeah. A, yeah, it's like there, there's a bunch of them. They'll be like, everyone in your friend group Put down a finger and let's see who's the biggest fuck boy or something like that. And they'll yeah. like be like, do you think blah, blah, So yeah, was yeah, this, do we think that's cheating or do we think the person's cheating if they do that? It's, do you, th it, like, do you think watching porn Personally, like, if you did that or, like, do you call that cheating? That's pretty yeah. much what it's saying. Do that again. Are you going to do it? Yeah, I'll tell you. I'll yeah. Give you, I, I, yes, I will tell you. You want to go one by one? <laughs> yes. So you go cheating or not? Staring at another girl's ass. No. Staring at another girl's ass. Not cheating. Yeah. cheating mean watching porn no liking other girls bikini posts you're cheating yeah i was How? gonna say that one okay. that that would okay. be seen as cheating from a girl 100 yeah don't like i that. get that a girl would think that too i mean like if your girl was like liking all these pictures of like ripped dudes or whatever like we'd i'd be, be like, i better step it up you can yeah, you can yeah, look yeah, at it just don't like yeah, it liking it you're you're, I mean, you're like, like baiting photo. them to respond yeah and you make your girlfriend look like an idiot yep agree Having a girl best friend. Cheating. What? Who has a fucking girl no best friend? No one actually has a girl best friend that they wouldn't fuck. Guys. <sighs> Me, Tana. I don't think that you, you, fucked her. you would fuck Y'all have fucked. We've never fucked. We've never touched her. 
I swear to God. She would. There's I'll show you, my mom, mother's life. There's no event. I've asked this a million times. If you're yeah. telling me you're going to watch football, gamble, drink all day, you're nobody's inviting a girl to do that. You're you're inviting a guy. It's a girl. Yeah, that's a girl. If you have, unless the person is gross, <laughs> looking. Okay. That's all right. Valid. Or so like you, you only can have a girl together. best friend if they're ugly, is what you're saying. Correct. Wow. I kind of I, I kind of want to agree. I just feel like guys would just fuck anything. A hundred percent. Wait, so can girls have guys best friends though yeah. while they're dating someone? No, the girls will always say it too, but it's like, and I, I'm saying best friend. You can have friends. But yeah, of course. Like hang out with them all the time. Like one on one. Right. That seems Because the guy weird. is just waiting for like, that opportunity. For, correct. Mm. For a little for for an inch of daylight. Mm. Keeping other girls' nudes. It's cheating. I don't think that's cheating. Really? Keeping them? Like, what do you mean keep you? So you uh, have. You've got to actively go through and delete actively everything. Actively go yeah. through and delete them yeah. is maybe like thinking of it even more though. Yeah. yeah. No, if your girlfriend finds it. out you have nudes on your phone of other girls, she won't be your girlfriend anymore. Yeah, that's a good point though. Probably fucking take those okay. off the phone. All yeah. Right. Flirting with other girls. Of course. Hang yeah. out with another girl one-on-one. -on -one. Of course. Constantly texting other girls. Of course. Calls other girls pretty. What does that mean? No. Yeah, that's a weird. That's a weird one. Like yeah. in conversation, like oh that girl's pretty. But yeah, not I have no problem with that. Like that's that, normal. Yeah. That you should be allowed. If someone's objectively pretty, who cares? Yeah, but not commenting. Yeah. You're pretty yeah. on someone's picture. Is friends with someone who likes him? Can't do that. Goes to a party without saying anything to you. Cheating. I feel like that's bad vibes. Like that's just bad. If you're going to a party and you're explicitly not telling, correct? The person really? Dating, Harry has said like not cheating. Like, to everything. You should probably send a text and just be like, "Hey, yeah, go out tonight with the boys." And then like it should be fine. Like as long as you yeah. let them know. But I feel like you shouldn't be like Shit. that's that feels like a little bit like hiding it. You know? This is why I'm single, I guess. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. I haven't figured it That's out. That's like either. I've yeah. said this before, even I forget who. <laughs> I was talking to girls, like, yeah, my boyfriend went on like a guy's trip to Vegas. I'm like, for a bachelor party or like, no, just boys trip. But, oh, it's like, well, he's cheating on you. Like, guy, you can't have a guy trip just to Vegas if you have a, like, what are you talking about? That shouldn't exist. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can you have a guy trip to Vegas with when you have a girlfriend, but you let your girlfriend know, though? No, I, I would if if can if, you have a girls trip to no I would be equally that's the be stupidest like, thing ever so I'm just never allowed to have a trip with the boys yeah, once I have a no you can there. but it, the destination matters nah really I I, yes I think that yeah I'm, Vegas I'm going to isn't Vegas really like a I think, that's silly. Spot. I think, I think that you can be I think that if there's not a, like you should be able to trust your your partner to go off with their homies and go on like a trip somewhere yeah, yeah. that's like in a cotton candy and like raindrops world. Mm. Like Vegas, you, you just up, like man. it's ugh, no thanks. Vegas, it's, you it's have like, a different Vegas than we do. Yeah. Vegas is like hookers. Everyone's just gonna get a hooker. There's everything. <laughs> the only reason to go to Vegas is Why, to like party and hook up. That's it. Or like to gamble. Oh, but if you a have good a good yeah. relationship, I think Play it depends the on the relationship and who who they're going with and the friends. Yeah. True. I wouldn't send my boyfriend off with Harry anywhere. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> yeah. I would trust. I know Brianna, Brianna would trust me though. I'm just such a. Down to earth guy. I think I actually wouldn't trust Josh. I wouldn't trust. Yes. I wouldn't trust anybody, and I'd be right. <laughs> a life Dave, is, I don't. I don't. Like, I don't like to hear that, man. That makes me feel like you've just been hurt too many times. No, I'm. Yeah. No, what the hell, Dave? No, it's not. It's not at all. But it's like the, just on demon mode. The though. expression of like bad things happen at, after like two o'clock a.m. Like mm -hmm. only, half like keeping things normal, healthy is just avoiding situations that will end sure. up bad. Yeah. yeah, don't put yourself in yeah. a bad situation. I actually did have an ex that went to Vegas and didn't tell me, and she ended up just fucking like a handful of dudes. Yeah, of course. that'll happen. But she told she told me about it after. Well, that, like, oh, oh, that's <laughs> fine then. I was like, oh, sweet, because she FaceTimed me the next morning, like in the cab. Like, she FaceTimed like, me the next morning in bed with a dude. And it was like, hey, it was hey, like babe. 10 a.m. I was like, all right, how was last night? She was like, it was crazy. Oh, my I'm gosh. Like, right, congratulations. I have a question. So, Glenny went on our another one of our Barstool podcasts, Macrodosing, yesterday. And was talking about is OnlyFans buying or is buying an OnlyFans cheating because he's got like twelve or thirteen OnlyFans yes. he subscribes to. And mm. his opinion was no, but Arian Foster, ex NFL player who's on the pod, said it was cheating. I so think it's cheating. Like talent scouting, huh? 
You know, and I like how you have words to justify these actions. No, yeah. I, I I would say that's bad. The other caveat is yeah, what if you that's know bad the girl? faith. I don't like that. That's faith. Che- really? that's more cheating. <laughs> Spend like so versus money on like a <laughs> OnlyFans model sort of thing. <laughs> Probably as much as I made. Yeah, no, that's bad. Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> I, I literally have never spent a dollar on that app. I mean, really? Yeah, actually. You just go on Reddit? Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is there more or is that the end of it? Okay. Um, too Hot to Handle Season 2 drama. Harry's gotten close to a bunch of the um, Too Hot to Handle Season 2 cast because he shares managers with some of the guys. What does Harry think of the cast? Does he think that they milk a lot of their drama? Mm. We had them yeah, on, I'd- right? We had the two. We had Emily and Cam on, yeah. Yeah, they're so cute. They're, they're doing they're I don't know. I just feel like it's reality TV. Like people, did they milk it more than season one milked it? Um, yeah, for a hundred percent. Okay, like they. I guess they just followed the the blueprint. And they're like, oh, this worked in these certain situations. How do we get more people talking about us? Maybe we do this stuff. But um, I guess I. I honestly just guess it's the the name of the game. Like you're, you don't really know. Well, it's reality TV. Like I mean, you're just, on reality TV for a reason, right? And it's like yeah, you yeah, a you're dramatic, and, right? Yeah, you're an idiot. Um, yeah. all, right, all right, we got a couple games. We'll play Clout Farmed or Famous. Oh, nice. So Yeah, pretty self-explanatory. So are, you, are we picking between if they made it themselves or if yes. they Clout Chase to so make it? So Clout Farmed or they actually made it on their own. Oh, shit. Nice. Is Clout Farmed even really a diss, though? No. no not really. I, I feel like no, I feel like hard. it's a strategy. Like, it's you got to work hard on that shit. Um, famous. I think the best clout farmer of all time ever. Wow, that's my opinion. Uh, Addison, not, right. in a, not in a negative context. Right. Like not in a negative context. It, she's a tough one because it really is like she start. If I understand how people first became aware of her, it was clout farming. But then a lot of people of clout farm did not become Addison Ray. That's, that's true, true too. That's true too. I think ah, it's a little bit of like both. I think she would like she had that famous kind of like gene to her whatever the fuck it is when you just have that but yeah. i think also she was like the master club like she went from came to our place with bryce and that and like when she was at like seventeen thousand followers on instagram mm. like nothing right and me and anthony used to pop in the back of her videos they'd blow up on tiktok and she did this stuff with her mom and then it went after that hype house then it went from hype house to like kind of just with like charlie and dixie and them right and then it went to like david dobrik and yeah. then from there to the Kardashians. And like Hayley Bieber. And, and like Hayley Bieber, right? So it's oh, like shit, it always I forgot was like about moving all that. up. Yeah, so it was I'd moving up so quick. Farmer, yeah. yeah, but like but like in a genius In the best fashion, way possible. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. and I mean, I only, I've talked to her a few times. We did the piece review, talked to her. I genuinely like like her. She, she has seems a very like a real sweetheart. Her. Yeah, so she's amazing. She's very likable. I don't know who this is. Chase Demore. He's from season Demore. two of Too Hot to Handle. Well, let's leave it to Harry then. I think Clap Farm. Sweet. He's working his way around. I told him to go collab with like houses and stuff and like get away from the tour to handle drama. So yeah, he's doing his, I think he's actually got a fight coming up. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. And in uh, the Oh, UK he has a bare knuckle fight coming up. Oh, that's real. Is he doing, deal ba- is, is he doing bare, bare knuckle? knuckle yes. Brawling? Yes. Ugh. Oh, I didn't realize he was doing that. Cause yeah, I, I had him on my one, podcast. Really? Yeah. He's doing a bare knuckle oh, fight. Oh, no. <laughs> that's brutal. I love him, but he's he ran like he told me he was in fight camp, and then next next day he's in Cabo with a girl, and I'm like, bro, come on! <laughs> but I love him the bit. Yeah, he's he's clap farming. That's he's clap farming his way up. The ultimate, the number one ultimate cloud farmer who ever lived. The ultimate. Yeah. Although the queen, Wait, she, she was started, making videos like she started on her own way back in the fucking YouTube. day. But she yeah. has to stay relevant. She's yeah, she fun. has now. Turned, yeah. And she's the one who she's the one who invented this term for me. She's the one who used it the first time I heard it. So I think she'd yeah. proudly say that. But I mean, her whole thing, even at the start with like this storytelling, it was always like drama, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Like it was always like that, that kind of like uh, clout farming yeah. factor. Yeah. yeah. I would say. I don't know about this I, one. I would say famous. Really? Yeah, that one's hard because like, I think, what do you think, Harry? I think clout farming. I think that, I think it's like a little bit of both. Yeah, but well, I've, I I, like since I've been aware of him, and I may know not him. know the background, he's been equal or as big as like the people he's dealing. I don't see him like jumping out of their. Like True. most of the time, I feel like he's equal or bigger than the people he's. I feel I'm like people him use with. him to cloud yes. farm. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see. No, that. for sure. I think like he was he was also like big in the past too, right? Yeah. Famous. Famous. Yep. Mads Lewis. 
Um, I don't know how she started. How did she start, Josh? I think she started on Musical.ly. That's the thing. Like, she did all of it kind of on her own at the beginning. So I'm going to say famous just because, like, she's actually been big in the world of, like, Musical.ly and TikTok for longer than, like, probably 95% of the people. And, and a lot of how I'm judging this, how I know, I just became familiar with her and your beef. So to me, that was the clout farming, not that she did on purpose, but that's how I know her. Yeah. Right. No, yeah, fair. Are you guys cool now? We, we yeah, yeah. Damn. Chaos. Fucking chaos. Oh. Famous. No, clout farm. Yeah, this, this one could go either way. Well, just because of the Tamela. I, I think he's... I, know, I mean, it, it's it weird because he was... He was blowing up, and then, like, he came into Sway, and then there was Dixie. It was all really quick, but he was blowing up on his own before he joined Sway. Like, he started his blow-up before he joined Sway. Everything else just kind of, like, cat catapulted it, I think. Bryce so, likes like, to say he blew him up. Yeah, he definitely blew up. I guess I view him now as, like, and I don't mean this as insulting, but he, like, I no. view no Noah Beck as Dixie's boyfriend. Mm. It's not a bad title. No, I'm not, <laughs> I didn't mean it in a bad title. way. <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel where like is this? Where is this name. picture? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I like it. Why is that? Where is that? It's one fashion of the best week? looks. Fashion week. Yeah. That's a good look for him. His looks were great for fashion. Yeah, it week. is. That's a sick look. He dresses so well. Yeah, so good. Kai. This uh, is so this all, is all all Olivia's clout farmed. Clout farmed? Yeah. Because I don't even think she really tried to be famous, though, right? Like yeah. that's not really like it didn't seem like she was super. I want to be famous in that relationship. Yeah. So an unintentional clout farm. Clout farmed. Yeah. But if she wants to defend herself, come on the podcast. Yeah, exactly. exactly. All right. Um, do we want to do the other game? Fuck, yeah, Mary, fuck Mary Kill. I said we do it. All right. Fuck Mary Kill. Oh. Oh, it's fitting fuck. for Harry. Fuck, I feel like fuck, we fuck. played this last time <laughs> with him. Okay. We have Melinda Melrose, Emily Miller, and uh, Carly Lawrence. All people from the second season of Too Hot to Handle. The girl on the right is by far the hottest. You think? Based on these three. Pictures, I mean. Ah, oh, this is so difficult because I'm really, I'm really close with Carly, but like Emily's got a great energy about it. But Melinda's like a boss, so I'll probably marry Melinda, fuck Emily, and kill Carly. Even sorry, Carly, but you, you do need to be fucked. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in this situation, she's not getting fucked. All right, <laughs> Josh, that's awesome. Um. I, I actually I'd probably do the same. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Melinda's got a career. What, yeah, what she's, 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 Melinda's she's super beautiful that's too. That's not the best she's picture. She's like perfect. What is Melinda? Yeah, do? she looks like she's got gorgeous. a great bum as well. What uh, does she do? She was on uh, these know. old people from Twitter. Well, you said she yeah. has a career though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So she's like she's like hosting or something, like doing more shows and stuff now. Oh, uh, okay. I think I think Netflix is putting her back on. Okay. Like, really well, you guys talk so it. heavily about her, and I'll marry her, kill Emily, F Carly. There you go. Well. Yeah, there you go. Oh, no, you're good. Okay. Joey Joy, Cam Holmes, Nathan Webb. Again, all people from the second season. That has to be steroids on the right. I saw him at Rolling right. Loud, and he was even bigger in person. I mean, it was those, crazy. Huge. That's abnormally huge. That's massive. Yeah. He's open about his stuff. So. Yeah. Like, take steroids? <laughs> yeah, he's very open. Well, I mean, look okay. at him. I mean, if you're going to... I respect you so much more if you take them and you just own that shit. If you're you just like, yeah, like I do. That. Yeah. Fair. Fair. Yeah. All yeah. right. He and honestly, in person, he looks like a god, and he eats whatever. It's so fucking annoying. It's frustrating. <laughs> does he does he constantly take them, or did he do a cycle or two? I don't know. Yeah, I asked him what he took, but yeah, I think he's I think he's in a couple of cycles. Jesus, you'd have to, to look like that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Looks like a fucking. That shit just god. like absolutely destroys. It's you. almost. Yeah. And he's a nice guy as well. He's really sweet. That's too big for me. Like I want if you're like, hey, you can look like that, but like, no, that's too big. Like I, I yeah, don't, I don't really? jacked. Yeah, I don't how, like well, that. How much does he weigh? Like he's got to be like, how tall is he? It's not. I that think he's tall. like six foot, maybe a bit smaller. <laughs> I think yeah, he's so a little he's smaller. A big, big body. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, are we doing this? Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, probably marry Nathan. Nathan. Probably fuck Cam and then kill Joey. Well, yeah, you want to marry Nathan? That guy can protect you for life. Yeah, he's like a guy's like your security, private security. Yeah, and he, right, and he's a stripper. He dances. He gets that shit down. So I've seen doesn't, him do it. Doesn't the steroids make your dick shrink though? Yeah. Does it make no, your just balls enough. shrink? Oh no, it is your balls. Yeah. yeah. All right. Tana, Nikita, <laughs> and Brooke Schofield. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, marry Nikita. Uh, fuck Brooke. Kill Tana. That was, that was an easy. easy one for you. Wow. That yeah. was easy. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Like I've already fucked Brooke. 
So like, and, and yeah, it's just, it works. All right. Taylor Holder, Bryce Hall, Lil Huddy. Are you guys doing any of these or is it just me? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do any of the last one. No, you Dave, guys, Dave, Dave, what are you doing over on this that? one? On yeah, this everyone one? skipped the last one. No, on this one? one, Dave. What are you doing on this one? I like Taylor. Uh, who? Uh, like you like him enough to... Yeah, he seemed like a really down to earth, like cool dude. Um, so I'd probably marry him. Fuck Huddy. Just so I could like <laughs> see what his deal's all about. And kill Bryce. <laughs> 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 oh. I gotta marry Huddy. Yeah, I'd marry Huddy. I feel like you you gotta go for the strat. Who's gonna make the most money, right? And then just yeah. marry that. Well, that's Huddy, yeah. right? Huddy or, or Bryce? I don't know. Yeah, but then Huddy can also what are you doing, Josh? You when yeah. you're sleeping with his what are you with doing? his music. And you can go on tour. You can right. travel the world together. Josh, what's oh, your answer? Great. Part of me. What's your answer? Um. I guess like I'm I I guess I'd have to marry Huddy just you know maybe grab the grab the cash quick cash play, mm. um, and then between Taylor and Bryce, I mean, it's tough. Yeah, Taylor's got a Taylor's got a cuter face though. You know he looks a little he looks a little softer. I'd and he say. just got a Rolls Royce, right? So it's like oh psh. perfect. What about you? Back of the Did Rolls Royce. Yeah, I would do the same as Josh. That was fuck Mary Kill. Fuck Mary Kill. Awesome. And that's the show, right? We nailed everything. Wow. That's, a show. That's it. What a journey. Uh, thank you, Harry. I think you're our leading guest, and we'll have you back on. Good luck with everything. Yeah, just come on Thanks every so week. Guys. I'll probably see you out and about when we're <laughs> I'm sure. Up again. I'm sure. All right. <laughs> All right see you guys. guys. Peace. Bye. Bye.